We have been adding views to our view controller's background view for some time now, and it is finally prudent to look a little deeper into what exactly we've been doing. Each scene consists of what is called a view hierarchy. What does that mean? It is simply a stack of views on top of another. We have a special terminology for these views. When you add a view to your view hierarchy, specifically when you add a UI view to your storyboard file and change its background color, it stands out. This new view is your background view subview, and the background view is known as the super view of this new view I view. So if we take a look at our example here, we see that we have a background view which we've made gray, and we've added a couple views on it. So we've added view one, which is simply a sub view of the background view. We say the background view is a super view of view one. We also have another example here where we've added view two, and onto view two we've added view three. So we say that view two is a sub view of the background view, and view three is a sub view of view 2. We can also say that view 2 is a super view of view 3 and the, the background view is a super view of view 2. Finally, we can say that both view 1 and view 2 are siblings because they both are on the super view background view. In order to help us visualize a sub view and a super view, we're going to go ahead and create a new project, and I've already added this as a single view application named A View into the World. So we're going to go to the storyboard file, and let's go ahead and add a UI button. We've done this a few times in the past, and hopefully this seems pretty familiar. So I can drag a UI button in, and if we take a look at my scene outline, we now see that my button has gotten indented, and that it's sitting on my view, right? So this is the background view here, this huge white space. And I can change the background view's color, so I could change this to something like light gray color. And now my button is a sub-view of the view. Right? So view controllers automatically get this view, and that's where we can display items on top of it. So we could go ahead and add another view. Specifically, we could add a UI view. And I can drag this into the bottom here. And we'll see that we have another view object on our view. So our background view here, and I can change the color of this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and make this, let's make this yellow. And we can also add items onto this view, right? So this view can also have sub views. So we can add another button on top of this view. And let's just change the background color as well. So we can see this really easily. So we can change this background color to like green. Drag this down to the bottom here. So what do we see here? Well, we see that both the button and view are on the same line here, right? They have the same indentation. Well, this tells us that they're siblings. Specifically, they both sit on the view, or they're both subviews of view. And we see that button is indented for this view, so that we see that button is a subview of the view. So what does this mean? Well, each view has exactly one super view or parent view, but can have as many subviews as you would like. For example, we dragged in a button and a view, and they were both sub-views of the view, but they each have one super view.